Hello, everybody. Thursday is back, which means the wheel o jank is back. Looking at it, still 28 things, but uh, I'm going to have to do some eBaying tonight to get uh, to get some more things. After the Growing Pains episode last week, a lot of people suggested some other TV shows that they liked, and it got me thinking, did they make cards for some of them? So, we're going to find out in the future, but for the present... We have 28 things on the wheel o jank and we've had a couple of weeks in a row of lovely vintage gum that ages like fine milk. Maybe I'll catch a break, but who knows until we spin the wheel and see just what in the world is going to happen. And it is, well, we have no gum. I know this for a fact, but we have a pack of Power Rangers cards. That has come from my jank brother in arms, Cole, at Cole's Comic Claims. Make sure to check him out. And, you know, this is going to be a good one. If they're like I remember on his, uh, we're going to be in for something kind of funny. Either way, see you at the couch in a moment. And we have moved over to the couch. Behold the box o jank. And now we dig for some Power Rangers. Insert Power Rangers theme song, which is probably copyrighted here. Well, let's get into it. Let us get into it. Nope. Aha! There we are. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers cards from the movie, it looks like. I don't remember the movie. I remember the TV show. Because that was back in the time when we didn't have... A whole lot of TV choices before we got cable at the house, so get home. Here you go. Here's the janktitude, either through moving around or whatever, but it's already partially opened. That said, this pack, I think, I believe, came from my jank brother in arms, Cole, at Cole's Comic Claims. He opened a pack, and if I recall, they were quite hilarious. Um, who would we want? Obviously, Kimberly the Pink Ranger. Mm-mm-mm. Loved Kimberly, and the rest of it, well, it was, a, it was a television show for all you kids out there. Back in the 90s, it was a quote-unquote TV show. A lot of splicing in that. People that actually watch it, you'll know what I mean, but let's get into it. Rocky Rolls, we got, there we go, we got some Power Ranger action there. And on the back, an expert in most everything he does, Rocky excels at inline skating. Oh my god. God, could there be anything more 90s? He loves pulling off radical freestyle moves and hair-raising landings. Does he now? Card number two. I remember her. I think the actress that portrayed her passed away a few years ago. Good old Rita Repulsa. On the back. And these aren't the ones I remember because the ones he opened I don't think had any sort of description on the cards at all. Nasty Rita Repulsa makes life most unpleasant for the Power Rangers. Actually, she doesn't play favorites. She makes life unpleasant for her husband, Lord Zed, too. Um, no comment. We have a burb. Burb dropping. Really? Really, Fleer? I do miss Fleer. Side ramble. But we have a burb. The skies, come on, the skies of Angel Grove darken as the Tengu warriors sweep in. Screechy and cawing, they gather around Ivan Ooze to return, or excuse me, to report on their battle on planet Phaedos. I honestly don't remember the movie. I remember the TV show more. Next up, Double Teamed. Don't remember... Adam has his hands full when two Tengu warriors attack him. That would be the Burbs. Not to be confused with the Tom Hanks movie, which was actually good. Once he breaks free from their talon hold, though, they better look out. Adam means serious business. I'm sure he does. You go there, Adam. Next, ooh, the White Ranger. That's a cool-looking card. I remember when the White Ranger came out. Boy, that was a thing. Because first it was the green... What was it? The original five, it was red, black, pink, yellow, and blue. Then came the green ranger, who I think then turned into the white ranger. I, I don't know. And then I lost track, and then there's several iterations. 
Martial arts expert Tommy knows all the right moves when he's the White Ranger. When he's not, he couldn't kick his way out of a paper bag. A few fancy kicks on his part and the party's over for, Ivan o for Ivan's Oozmen. I like that card. That's a nice looking card. And our final one. Oh boy. Good old bulk. Good old bulk and skull there, but the title is Bulk Sulks. Uh, take your guess as to which one is bulk. And on the back, oh, poor bulk got oozed. It's so typical. If there's a mishap to be had, bulk will certainly be the first to find it. Preaching to the choir, good sir. Preaching to the choir. Well, there you have it. A snarky, pithy, jank pack Thursday. No gum, which is kind of weird, and I don't know how people are going to feel about that. But we're going to find out. Um, either way, no, I did watch Power Rangers when I was young, but unlike many of the other TV shows that we have featured here on Jank Pack Thursday, Growing Pains, Three's Company, etc., etc., um, does not hold up in this day and age, uh, even more so than you would think. Not sometimes it happens. Maybe the 90s just wasn't as strong as the 70s and 80s were in the television land. But that said... Thank you for joining me on this Jank Pack Thursday. If any of you guys remember Power Rangers, let me know what you think. Um, and also, what was, I can't remember, the Japanese show that it was spliced into, all the action sequences, I think were spliced directly from a Japanese TV show, whereas all the live action stuff was filmed uh, here in the U.S. specifically for that market. Um, either way, that was fun. Got a couple nice looking cards. I really, I have to admit, I do like that White Ranger card. So, hope all of you are doing well. We'll catch you next time, everyone.